I was age 14, playing at school, loved the game, used to go and watch matches taking my kit so that if somebody was injured or couldn't play, I could get on the pitch and start playing. So I started 40 years ago and still playing now. I have played for the first team, but not for a few years, mainly veterans, and I play third or fourth team now for the club. Of course, every club relies on volunteers and people who sort of do the bits in the, in the background. What makes you want to do more than just play? Um, I get real satisfaction from seeing the young players coming through, enjoying the game as much as I did, and playing to the best of their abilities. And that's really great to see. And we have lots of fun and um, lots of friends at my age who still play as well. So it's socially very good and it's good competitive sport, play to a good level. Now here we are on the all-weather pitches at Worksworth Leisure Centre. I think going back again in time, Cromford Meadows was a bit different to this, wasn't it? It was very different <laughs> playing down there in the mud with the sheep on the pitch as well. So we moved up here about 10 years ago, but 15 years ago, all matches moved for league hockey to have to be played on AstroTurf pitches. And although we tried very hard to get one down at Cromford, that didn't work out. So we first had to travel to Buxton to play our home matches until we got the pitch here. And it's a great pitch which works in partnership with Derbyshire Dales and Anthony Gell School and the club. And Derwent Hockey Club, the men are here as well. So we all work well together. Numbers are really increasing. We've noticed over the last couple of years numbers starting to pick up. We run five adult teams, one vets team, under 14s, under 12s, under 10 teams and every week numbers are growing. We've also had a successful back to hockey campaign so for those older players who perhaps haven't played for a few years and they come along particularly on these Monday night sessions and we're getting them back and in to playing as well. And looking ahead for Laura Lober, what keeps you going and, and, and what do you want to achieve now? <laughs> I'm not quite sure how long I'll keep going actually, Jim. That's a bit of a tough one. Um, but while I can still run and keep up with some of the youngsters, I'll keep playing because I do enjoy it and not getting injured too often. And I think I'd like to see this year the under-14 team do really well. They're a great group of girls, very talented, and I think they could be very successful.